Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Adam back here, and today I have another video. This time it is my review of my custom Blitz, Cult, and Havoc customs. So, if you don't know, these guys appeared in the Clone Wars Season 3. Um, I don't exactly remember what episode it was, but it's uh, the Kamino battle, pretty much. And yeah, um, these guys I mainly made recently just um, for my Instagram, kind of. Um, I'm also working on your guys' customs, don't worry. Um, I've been, it's been a rough week or so in the past week. Um, it's probably going to be pretty slow for me after this because I have to have some pretty major things done. But um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll be working on your guys' customs, don't worry. Um, just really want to make these figures. I haven't made an updated version of these guys in so long. <laughs> it's that voice crack. Um, it's been at least maybe five, six months, I think, since I've made uh, my last uh, showcase of one of these at the very minimum. Um, but yeah, I finally redid them and they look a lot better than my previous versions. But I'm still not entirely satisfied, and um, I'm going to be going through one of each of these figures individually, and I'll show you why that is. So, yeah, let's get right into it. We'll start off with Blitz and move to the right. All right, so here's Arc Trooper Blitz, and as you can see, he is sporting the Clone Army Customs Arc Trooper Blitz helmet, along with the antenna and the two pistols. Um, the capes are actually made by me. Um, I've been producing a lot of capes lately, and uh, these just happen to be one of them because they were, they're pretty iconic. Um, so yeah, if you want to buy them, uh, you can go down in my down to my eBay in the description. Um, to that link, it'll take you to my eBay. There's like 115 plus different cape designs. It's a pretty wide selection, so uh, yeah, if you're interested in that. But uh, anyways, so onto the figure. Um, like I said, he has the Clone Army Customs helmet. He also has the double yellow cloth. And then on the torso, it is entirely painted by me. The, uh, um, it's like, I decided to go for a light gray. Usually for Arc Trooper, uh, torsos, I use the, uh, dark, it's like this, I call it, it's called blue jean or something, but it's like, it looks like a wolf pack color and it works if you're painting off the, uh, based off the Clone Army Customs prints, but I kind of wanted to do gray because it really brings out the colors that go over it a lot better. So I did that instead, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, but yeah, the torso is entirely painted by me, and so are the arms, and there's just, you can't even see the yellow, it's such a bright yellow, but there's some stripes on the bottom part of the arms, and yeah, and then there's the full outlines. And then the Blitz waist cape, of course, has the diamonds. It's the white with black diamonds. And then um, he has the pistols, which look very nice on him. Um, and then he has the leg outlines along with the knee pads, which are white with a yellow stripe going down the middle with the gray around the sides of it. So that's really cool. And I honestly do like how this figure turned out, but next time I definitely change how the yellow stripes are on the torso. But overall, I think it looks really good, and yeah, so now we'll go on to Colt. Alright, so here's Arc Trooper Colt, and I definitely think he turned out the best out of all three. He looks very clean, and yeah, he is sporting the Arc Trooper Colt helmet printed from uh, CAC along with the antenna. I just really like how it looked and I wouldn't change anything about it. And then he has the double red pauldron that I made, of course, and the waist cape. And then the um, torso is also just painted. He actually doesn't have any torso designs, so that was kind of nice. It really gives him a clean look on the torso uh, for the arc trooper, uh, Paul, or <laughs> the arc trooper design. And with the light gray, it just really matches the color overall. Makes it look very nice. And then on the arms, he has the print or the uh, painted outline. And then he has on the bottom piece gray with a like dark reddish um, type stripe. And then it's the same thing on the other arm as well, which matches perfectly. And yeah, and then on to the legs, it's the same outline. Um, I used the same gray as I did on the torso. 
and it goes all the way around the knee pads on both sides and then um, all the way down to the it may actually look white just because it's so um, just because the lights make it look that way um, but yeah that's gray down there and then he has the two little stripes on the bottom half of the knee pad and then he has the Colt waist cape which is a red and black type pattern which looks very nice and suits him very very well and this is probably my favorite out of the three uh, just because it came out so cleanly and it looks really really good with the pistols and honestly it's just one of my favorite figures so yeah now on to Havoc alright so here is Havoc Havoc is also sporting the printed CAC Havoc helmet and he also has the arc antenna from CAC as well. They all have the same pretty much. And the cloths as well are also um, made by me. And yeah, so he has the double blue pauldron. And the arms have the outline, the same thing. And this is the same design on the bottom piece as Blitz. You just couldn't see Blitz's because of the reflection. Just too light, honestly, for the camera. So, yeah, but that's what it looks like. Um, it's just a blue stripe, and then it has two little sets of lines going out. And it honestly looks really good. And same thing over here. And then on the uh, torso, it's the same thing, same design, except for there's four little blue dots um, on his right chest plate. So that really, they came out really nice. Uh, they're pretty much perfect circles. Um, yeah and they really suit him so then he has the havoc waist cape which is the classic dark gray and uh, blue bottom half and it looks really nice on him and then he has the dual rex pistols from cac as well and they look really really nice on these art troopers and i'll definitely be using them on some other figures uh, so stay tuned to just a couple more, like maybe a minute, and you'll get a sneak peek at some of the other stuff that I did today and over the weekend. But uh, yeah, so then he has the blue um, knee pads that have the black outline, of course, and the same black design. And then he has the gray around it, just like I believe it was Colt, um, except for the these um, the front part of the legs are not painted and that's just due to him not having any design there so yeah um, that is all three figures uh, if you want you can see what else I'm probably not going to do a review on these but I did make um, arc fives as well and arc echo so those are pretty nice I'd say and then I also did make hard case and I made Jesse as well. So, yeah, I'm not, these were kind of one-off figures. I'm just making them because, and I will be selling them on my Instagram if you are interested. So make sure to go check there. And yeah, um, let me put his pistol down. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully I'll be producing more content soon. I have to do a review on my hawk, which I've been I've had done for like three weeks now, and yeah, I don't really know what else. I mean, I'm still stuck in a loop of making figures for the trader figures thing, so hopefully I'll find a way out of that soon. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.